So I was trying to think of things to talk about, and one of the things I thought of was, well, I'm starting grad school in the fall. So fall 2020, in August or so, I am going to be starting grad school at Colorado State University, uh, pursuing a physics PhD, and I thought I should talk about, or that I could talk about, my worries about uh, starting grad school. So we have the, you know, coronavirus and obviously, you know, what uh, school is going to be like in the fall, the next school year is just shrouded in mystery at this point. And so I thought I'd talk about my worries about that because I did not expect that a pandemic would happen, of course. And I didn't expect that my first year at grad school would be affected at all by something like that. One of my biggest problems that I deal with is anxiety and worry. Uh, I don't get it as bad as a lot of people get it, but I do get it pretty badly in certain circumstances. Like, for example, going on dates or calling a friend or meeting with a professor. That was a big one. Just Those are just a few examples of places where I get really anxious because I don't really know what's going to happen. So I, I have a big problem with the unknown, really, when there's that ever unknowns with things I'm going to do. I get really anxious. Meeting with a professor, it's just like, I want to make sure that I get the most out of the meeting. I don't want to like get through to 10 minutes in and then I can't think of anything, even though I know there's things to talk about. But it's like, the, end, the meeting is going to end prematurely probably because I just can't think of anything. Or there's going to be these awkward pauses. Those awkward pauses are things I really want to avoid. Uh, so this is a, one of my big worries. Uh, just making the most out of like calling a friend, um, avoiding those awkward pauses and yeah, making the most out of meetings and all that. So those are just some examples of just, you know, when there's unknowns and things that I'm going to do, I get really anxious. And so that's where, you know, the, where I have a problem when it comes to grad, grad school this fall is there's so many unknowns that I, I tend to get a little worried. Right now I'm okay because it's, it's still a decent ways away. I mean, it's only like two to three months away. But it still feels like it's really far away, so I don't get as nervous about it. Uh, but, of course, that's not going to last so long. I'm sure as it gets closer, I'm going to get more anxious about it. So let's talk about last year. So the end of last year uh, is when I graduated from college, with a physics degree. And so I graduated in December. So I didn't have to go through this last semester. So I'm talking 2020 last semester being the spring semester, the beginning of the year, I didn't have to go through that, doing classes online, meeting with people online, which I'm so glad I didn't have to deal with, but I worry that I might still have to deal with it in the fall, uh, which is especially worse because it'll be my first year, my first semester, which will make it worse. But the end of last year, well, obviously busy with classes and all that, but I was also busy uh, filling out applications for grad school, filling out internship applications for this current spring and the coming summer. So at that time, there was a lot of unknowns about where I'll be going, what I'll be doing, you know, unknowns about what I'll be, what I'd be doing this spring, the summer, grad school, because at that point, I didn't know if I'd even get into any grad schools. It wasn't until later that I did get into some grad schools, and then eventually I chose one, and so now I know. But at the time, it was very, there's a lot of unknowns regarding this whole year. It turns out nobody could have predicted what this year was going to be like. But just ignoring that, um, there was a lot of unknowns with this year. I just had no idea what my whole year was going to be like, just generally. It's the importance of knowing for me. There's a comfort in knowing, rather, uh, in knowing what I'll be doing and what things will be like that sort of eases anxiety and worry. I did find out what internships I'd be getting which were none, but I did find out where I'd be going to grad school, Colorado State, uh, which is very comforting. So at that point, I have, I had sort of my whole year, I don't want to say planned out, but I sort of had an idea of like, okay, where I'll be. Well, I'll be home until August, basically. But I knew that, you know, I'd be home until I go to grad school, and then I'd move to Colorado, and then I'd start school in some fashion. And that's still true, but there's more mystery surrounding it. But at least at that point, I, I was... I had a lot more comfort in knowing, like, okay, we go to grad school, I know where I'm going, I know what I'll be doing until then, so it's great, you know, great uh, comfort. You know, it, it's funny because about the time that I chose where I'm going for grad school is about the time when all this started, COVID-19, and so I didn't really have much time to be comfortable 
comforted by knowing because then all of a sudden it just smashed and I got a bunch of more unknowns that I can't really deal with. So finding those things out definitely eased my worries for a little bit. Uh, it wasn't for if it wasn't for COVID-19, it'd be a lot of bit, uh, a lot longer, I'd be comforted. COVID-19 has added some complications and unknowns to the whole equation. So that brings in some more worries and anxieties. Some I'm feeling now, but some I'm going to feel more later on that I'll go into. So it's really impossible for me to think about grad school right now. I really want to think about grad school, but I can't because there's so many unknowns. Like I can't think about classes really because who knows if classes are gonna be online or in person, what those are gonna be like. And I didn't experience online classes from this last semester since I graduated already. So I have no idea from experience what that's like. And so that kind of worries me a little bit. I don't know what being a TA is gonna be like now because if classes are online, am I gonna be doing it? TA thing online like what is that gonna be like that's terrifying and then like meeting people seeing campus like how is that gonna work in the fall it's basically my whole experience is sort of being threatened right now my whole grad school experience and this is something that I've sunk a decent amount of money into <laughs> with regards to grad school applications and sending scores for tests and stuff but also it's very important to me because it's like it's my next step in my career it's my next step in my life for it to be threatened like this that really sucks. I know people will say, you know, don't worry, it'll be okay, and I'm sure it will be. I'm sure I'll still get a good experience, and I'm sure the people there will make sure my experience is good still. I'm going to be in grad school for like six years at least. It's only one small part of my experience. So I know that it's, it's probably going to be okay, but it's like that first experience. Like my first year at undergrad was one of my most important just for like meeting people meeting friends and just doing fun stuff first year is important and so i don't want that to be threatened very much so there's all this mystery and even if i knew what was going to happen like i knew that classes were going to be online and being a ta was going to be like this i can't really process that right now like if i knew i could have like two three months to process that and to prepare myself but i don't because I don't know yet. And I don't even know if I will until like really close to when school starts. I can't really process what will happen. So that's not so good. I'm kind of just getting through summer, just sort of not thinking about it. Even though I really want to think about it because it's so big. I know I'll be going to Colorado. I know I'll be, no matter what, I'll be moving there. And pretty much no matter what, I'll be starting classes in some fashion. So it's just like, you know, it's out of my control. I just need to deal with it. I can deal with it with whatever happens and just just go just do it just like just don't worry so much because it's out of my control really that's the big thing so i'm worried that my whole experience will be threatened not my whole experience because really it's just the first year or so and have five at least more years after that that'll probably be okay you know and even my first year isn't going to be so bad like anyways like it's, i'm sure we'll figure it out and i'll figure it out and it'll be what it, it'll be and I just got to deal with it with whatever comes. Those unknowns definitely are on my mind. And I really want to think about grad school, but I just can't. So that's too bad. So, I mean, right now I'm doing fine. You know, I'm doing, I'm not so worried about it, anxious. But as time gets closer, uh, I'm probably going to get more worried about it, more anxious. It is what it is. What happens will happen. I just got to deal with it with whatever comes. It's out of my control. That's one of the biggest things. And my grad school dream is not crushed. It's only a small part of my grad school career. And if it was changed or not, I just gotta make the most out of it. No matter how much I think about it, there's nothing I can do. I just need to deal with it as it comes. Just gotta live with it. <laughs> I just hope that doesn't mean not going to class.